Hey there, Pythonic Accountant here. Today we're going to take a look at some of the most recent amazing models that are out, just kind of compare them to each other. So I'm just going to pit them against each other and see what they can make. Um, so what I've got up is I've actually got um, a few open source ones to compare as well, but I've got the three leading uh, paid ones. So I've got the GPT, ChatGPT uh, 5.2 with thinking. I've got Claude's Opus 4.5 with extended thinking. I've got the Gemini uh, th uh, Thinking with 3 Pro, and then I've got DeepSeek with Deep Think on, Kimmy K2, and then uh, Quen 3. So for all of these three, I'm going to use the same prompt. I'm going to say, uh, make me an amazing, let's see, web app that is um, able to be an AI bookkeeping assistance. I'm going to let it be creative um, let's see, for uh, accounting. I'm going to be, let it be creative and see what it can create based on that prompt. So I'm going to do um, all six of these and see what they create. I didn't specify what language to do it in, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do. And uh, we'll just go from there. All right, so ChatGPT is doing it in React. Claude is not sure yet, but it's building it in. Gemini is still planning. Uh, DeepSeek, it's getting flancy using some Python code there. Kimmy K2 is definitely some HTML, but inside, what's it going to use? Looks like more, uh, looks like some React probably. And then Quinn 3 is uh, building something. Oh, that's a janky little background. Uh, I'm not sure what this one's in. Probably, oh, looks like Python. Cool. Well, let's take a look, see if we can figure out these guys made. All right, so this one's still running. Claude's still running. Gemini is, Gemini is done. Okay, cool. <laughs> Gives me instructions on how to set it up. All right, I wanted to, I'm gonna pause the recording while I get these set up, then we can really compare. All right, let's see what we got. Um, so this is pretty interesting. So uh, <laughs> DeepSea gave us something pretty detailed. It wasn't able to provide the actual preview of the app, but I'm just really curious to see what this looks like. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a boost. I downloaded everything that it gave me. Oh, let's see, there's an old GPT model, but they all, they all do that. Um, I took what it gave me and I downloaded it and I asked um, Codex to help me kind of string it together. And it did have one error, like a dependency issue. So we're going to end up seeing if it's able to fix it or not. Um, and it's still working on it. So while this is working on fixing the dependency issue, we'll go and take a look at some of the other results that we found. So looked interesting. Kimmy K2, this one was a complete bust. It only gave me an HTML file. And when I tried running the HTML file, it just failed. So I might, I might try one more time. I'll say, um, okay, this didn't render. Try again. Yeah, it's probably not going to work, but we'll see. And then Quen3, complete fail. I mean, it gave it its best shot, but like it gave me a blueprint. That's it. Like it looks actually nice. Um, I like what it gave me. It's like, here's your uh, tech stack. Here's your um, kind of the build, the architecture overview. That's in uh, like a mermaid representation. Pretty cool. It gives me the kind of layout of what it would build. And um, it gave me some starter code, but you know, such a small amount. I don't think it would actually build anything. So I'm going to see, I'll see if I get to build you something. Okay. Uh, build me the MVP. Go <laughs> see if I can push it. Now let's, let's look at the power horses. Um, Gemini, little disappointed with this one, but, um, not bad. So it, it did give me kind of some initial output, but again, this is more of a pseudocode like pseudo application gave me a high level architecture and then just kind of some starter code so i said oh can you give me like a working prototype i said um can you show me working preview 
It says, since I can't host a live server for you directly in this chat, I've built a fully interactive single file prototype. So, okay, so I got an HTML file. I loaded up in the code pen. This isn't bad. It's um, it's kind of you know, kind of simple, kind of boring, but not bad. It's got a CFO assistant that doesn't really do much. Type in anything, and it'll respond basically the same way with an automatic response. Simulate new transaction just generates a bunch of random transactions. It's cute. Excuse me. Uh, documents. Not sure what that does. Um, and then we have reports. Not sure what that does. Looks like nothing. So, you know, not bad, but it doesn't have a whole ton here. Just to give it a chance, though, I did go ahead and go to Google AI Studio. And I said, I gave it the same prompt and I asked it to include um, Gemini. So this is cheating a little bit uh, because it's not the chat interface and it's intended to build like many applications. So, uh, but this one's pretty cool. So this one has a dashboard and then it's got uh, transactions listing and you can add a manual transaction, you know, expense and whatever you want and save transaction. And uh, it looks like it saved it. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, and then let's delete it. Now, I really interested to see if I scan receipt, will this work? So I added a receipt uh, that I downloaded from the internet. And is it going to use Gemini to scan the receipt and determine? Uh, yeah, it looks like it did. It's now I can't read this very well, but it looks like it downloaded the or it uh, inferred the right information from the receipt, um, which is pretty cool. And it saves it right there. So that that's awesome because it uses actual AI embedded within the app. So that's that's really neat actually. Um, and then hopefully it actually updates the amounts here uh, based on what I find. So pretty cool. I like it. Um. Before we pop over and show you what Claude and ChatGPT did, I'm just going to check in on our friend here and see if we've made any progress yet. And there were still, still it's all dependencies. All right, let's take a look at Claude. This is sick. Um, okay, this is with Claude Opus 4.5, latest Claude model. I'm really impressed with the, this put together. Just like the look and feel is amazing. It looks like a modern, you know, app. Kind of reminds me of some of like the monitoring budget apps like Monarch or Copilot, uh, but it's got your, I mean, it's like a fully working app. It looks like you got your dashboard, your transactions, and you can edit these things. At least I think you can. Change it to professional services, change the sales revenue. That's crazy. Yeah, you can change, you can edit them. And you can like type and just get the filters for what you want. Uh, looks like you can, uh, that's not working. So it's not actually letting you import, but still AI assistant. This is cool. I don't know if this actually works, but let's see. Um, what is a debit versus a credit? Will it answer that accurately? So if so, it means that it's actually strung up um, AI, like actual strung up to AI in the background, which would be pretty cool. Let's see if it's done it. Oh man, it did. That's so cool. This actually, like, it's got an embedded actual AI into this demo. It's crazy. Love it. Let's ask it, um, how, how much have I spent on Slack? Will it answer it correctly? Let's see. I can see your overall software and technology. I don't have detailed breakdown for Slack. Interesting. So, but it tells me how to get it, which is pretty cool. Anyways, that's neat. Chart of accounts, get your assets, your liabilities, equity, revenue, expenses. Very cool. You can add account. You've got reports. You got a profit and loss, a balance sheet, and a cash flow. This is insane. And then you got your settings. You can, you know, change these fake like connectors. Oh, this is awesome. All right. Now, on to the last one, chat freaking GPT. This is the new chat GPT um, 5.2 just came out today. And you've got uh, blueberry ice cream. That's what we named our company. Um, this looks really nice also. So you've got your, your import, apply rules, export to CSV, um, the different views. You can do like journal, reports, rules, assistant, and the assistant, I don't know if the assistant has um, actual AI built in, so it looks like it's not, but maybe I can try one of the things that it actually suggests. Let's try asking it the question, what's my net income? Will it actually answer it? Who knows? Probably not. Uh, 
no, it, it doesn't look like it works. So, you know, the AI assistant piece might just be a fake like placeholder for now, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I like it. I like it. Anyways, one last check. Let's just see if the last one is done yet. And no, it looks like it's still the totally dependency. So we'll, well, if it's really cool, I'll come back and record a follow up video to show you what uh, we we're able to build with with uh, deep seek but anyways hope you enjoyed that video um, i was i had a really good time kind of playing around with these different uh tools and it's amazing how far they've come along so i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you the next one